Just recently, the government announced to develop the 10 hectare site in Ferrer Park into 1,600 HDB flats and sport facilities. Why am I concerned about this land? Yes, because it is located right beside Piccadilly Grand. What a timely announcement while Piccadilly Grand is about to launch. So, I believe many of you would like to know whether is this good or bad for Piccadilly Grand. Hello, I'm the property strategist Stephen Chong. If you visited a show flat before, some agents might tell you this. Hey, there are many empty lands around the new launch. If you buy now, you will make money. Because why? The future land price will be higher than yours, so as the selling price. But let me tell you, this is not always the case. Eh? Because it might cause more supply to flood into the market and become your competitors. Let me show you a case study so that you can understand better. This is at Tampines Avenue 10. What do you see from this picture? A lot of condos, right? The one key thing is, you look at here, TOP 2014, TOP 2016, TOP 2017, TOP 2019, MOP 2019, and TOP 2020. A lot of supply, right? But the main problem here is, the supply come every one or two years interval. The resale buyers have a lot of choice from the new supply. Some agents might tell you, when you buy a new launch condo, you see many empty lands beside. It will help you to push up the price, right? Not always true, huh? because it depends on different scenario. Like this example I shown you in Tampines. If you bought Santorini in 2014 and TOP in 2017, you will face strong competition coming in 2019 and 2020 because Santorini is no longer having the advantage along that stretch. Buyers got more choice and can choose to buy the newer projects such as the Alps residences and the tapestry. And that's why if you see clearly for their performance over the years, tapestry average price up 250 PSF in just 4 years. Alps residences move 200 PSF in 6 years, whereas Santorini move only 100 PSF over 8 years. The main problem here is the condo supply coming in too short interval within 1 or 2 years. So why do I show you all this? Because what I want to say is, if today the government announced the land beside Piccadilly Grand is for private residential and the TOP debt between Piccadilly Grand and the upcoming new launch is only 1 or 2 years in the world, then that might cause a threat to Piccadilly Grand, especially if you want to resell later. So now, instead of private residential, it will be the HDB flats, which means what? Less competition to Piccadilly Grand when it comes to resale in the future. Currently, it is still unsure that whether the HDB flat beside Piccadilly Grand is under prime location public housing or not. Bear in mind, if it is prime location public housing, their MOP is 10 years and they can never rent out the whole unit even after the MOP. It is not built for investment purpose at all. In addition, public housing has ethnic quota control. So this might address many buyers' concerns. Not forgetting the 10 hectares of land will include 20% of sport facilities and green space. This will rejuvenate the whole area. So will all this make Piccadilly Grand even more attractive? In a nutshell, the 1,600 HDB flats coming beside Piccadilly Grand is a good news. So, what do you think? Comment below and let me know your thoughts. And the above are my tag on the empty lands beside a new launch. But I still have more things to share with you. Contact me if you want to know more at 9188-7652. Once again, I'm Stephen Chong. Hope to see you soon. Bye.